A Vernon man received the highest honor for civilian heroism in the country today after sacrificing his own life over a year ago to save a boy from drowning. Stacy Redman is one of 17 people nationwide being awarded the Carnegie Medal this week. As News 13's Erica Orstad tells us, his family says it's a bittersweet moment. I cried. I literally cried. Alicia Redmond reacting to the news. It's so hard to describe because he deserved it. I wish he could be here to see it. Her late husband, Stacy, is being recognized as a national hero after saving a boy from drowning in the Gulf last year in Panama City Beach. And that's just the type of person he was. In doing so, he lost his life at only 48 years old, leaving behind his wife and three children. Today, he's a Carnegie Medal recipient. I just cried this morning. Just tears of joy but sad at the same time because he can't enjoy it but luckily that mother and that child are still alive and you know they get a second chance at life because of him. Redmond says it's been a difficult year without her husband but there's been positives as she works to bring change locally and statewide to keep people out of dangerous water. They are finally starting to find people for it you know um, I hate to do that but you know some of us learn a little bit harder than others. And it's not fair for someone to lose their life because you didn't want to listen. She says while her husband would have said he was just doing the right thing, he's been their hero all along. To me, he, he made the ultimate sacrifice. The Carnegie Medals Hero Fund will help support Redmond's family and provide scholarships for his kids. In Vernon, Erica Orstadt, News 13, Panhandle Strong.